In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 16, 2022, and providing you with team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Colorado Rockies vs. Chicago Cubs The Colorado Rockies take on the Chicago Cubs in the first of a three-game National League series on Friday afternoon. The Rockies will have German Marquez on the hill. The Cubs reply with Marcus Stroman, targeting his first home win. The season series is even at 2-2. The Rockies are 5-2 in their last seven overall and 6-13 in their last 19 after a win. Colorado is 18-46 in their last 64 road games. Meanwhile, the Cubs are 6-1 in their last seven in Friday games and 9-4 in the last 13 in Game 1 of a series. Chicago is 2-7 in their last 9 after a win. The Rockies have won 5 of their last 7 games, but they haven't been as hot on the road where they have lost 5 of their last 7 games. They have struggled offensively in recent road games, scoring only 5 runs in their last 3 road games. Things won't get easier for them in this game because Stroman has done a good job on the mound in recent starts, giving up 5 runs in his last 3 starts. He is 3-2 in 5 starts against the Rockies, giving up five runs in his last four starts against them, and won't have trouble slowing them down in this game. The Cubs are coming off a series sweep of the Mets and they did a great job offensively, scoring 15 runs in three games. Expect them to continue playing well on the offensive end because Marcus has been pretty bad in recent starts, giving up 17 runs in his last four starts. He is 1-2 in seven starts against the Cubs, giving up 21 runs in his last four starts against them, and will have a hard time keeping their offense in check. Stroman hasn't had much luck in the win column lately, however, so he's going to need some help from the bats. In his last start, Stroman put up four earned on seven hits and a walk in four innings. That said, he had just one earned in his previous 12 innings. As for Marquez, he gave up nine earned in four innings his last time out, but he was on a nice run before that. Should be a fun starter matchup if nothing else. So the Chicago Cubs money line is our full game side pick. The Rockies are averaging 4.48 runs per game and 3.01 runs per game on the road. They average 6.33 runs per game in their last three games against the Cubs. With Chicago giving up 4.93 runs per game at home, the Rockies will go over their average in this game. The Cubs are averaging 4.08 runs per game and 4.08 runs per game at home. They average 5.67 runs per game in their last three games against the Rockies. The Cubs and Rockies played over the total in three of their last four meetings. With Colorado giving up 5.04 runs per game on the road, the Cubs will score in enough runs to push the score past the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Miami Marlins vs. Washington Nationals The Miami Marlins battle the Washington Nationals in the first of a three-game divisional series on Friday night. The Marlins will send Jesus Luzardo to the hill. The Nationals reply with Joja Gray. The Marlins lead the season series by a 12-1 mark. The Nationals have lost seven of their last eight games and two straight home games. Even though they continue to play well offensively, they will struggle in this game because Luzardo has pitched well for the Marlins, especially on the road where he has given up five runs in his last three starts and won't have trouble keeping their offense in check. The Marlins have also struggled in recent games and they're also playing well offensively, scoring 12 runs in their last three games. They will continue playing well in this game because Gray has struggled on the mound, giving up 14 runs in his last four starts. He gave up nine runs in his last three starts against the Nationals and will have a hard time slowing them down. There's no doubt the Miami Marlins have shown more signs of life this season. Jesus Luzardo has also been rather decent this season, and that includes a 2.54 earned run average in 46 road innings. Josiah Gray has been a disaster, with his earned run average over 5 on the season, and he's allowed 22 runs in his last 29.2 innings. So the Miami Marlins' money line is our full game side pick. 
The Marlins have feasted on the Nationals pitching this season, averaging 5.3 runs in the 13 meetings, which is well above their season average. They scored 21 runs in four games in the latest series against the Nats. In addition, the Nationals' offense has been hot. They have played at an average of 4.9 runs in their last 10 games. Luzardo has allowed 14 runs in 13 career innings against the foes. The over has also cashed in three out of Josiah Gray's last four starts. The Marlins are averaging 3.55 runs per game and 3.5 0.58 runs per game on the road. They averaged five runs per game in their last three games against the Nationals. With Washington giving up 5.31 runs per game at home, the Marlins will go over their average in this game. The Nationals are averaging 3.85 runs per game and 3.72 runs per game at home. They averaged three runs per game in their last three games against the Marlins. With Miami giving up 4.17 runs per game on the road, the Nationals will score enough runs to push the score past the total. This one will feature runs. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Twins vs. Cleveland Guardians The Minnesota Twins begin a make-or-break five-game series with the first-place Cleveland Guardians on Friday. The Twins sit a handful of games behind the Guardians in the American League League Central, so a strong showing here could get them back in the race. The Guardians lead the season series 9-4 and have won five straight. First pitch is at the Progressive Field in Cleveland. Looking at the last handful of games, Aaron Sanchez is 0-1 with a 3.86 earned run average and a 1.24 WHIP in his last five games, while Tristan McKenzie is 3-3 with a 2.18 earned run average and a 0.9 WHIP in his previous seven games. These bullpens are also on two different levels as well as the Twins are 15th in the majors with a 3.89 reliever earned run average, while the Guardians are currently fourth in the sport with a 3.13 bullpen earned run average. This is a huge series in the American League Central with Cleveland coming into the series with a three-game lead on the White Sox and a four-game lead on the Twins. Minnesota is starting to run out of time, so they really need to win this series, if not sweep it. The Minnesota starting pitcher is up in the air, but it sounds like it is going to be Bailey Ober, who is making his first start since coming off of the injury list. For the Guardians, Tristan McKenzie has allowed four earned runs over his last 17.2 innings pitched. With how well McKenzie has been pitching, I have to take the Guardians here as in addition to everything discussed previously. They are also 9-5 this season against the Minnesota Twins, so the Cleveland Guardians' money line is our full game side pick. In addition to injuries decimating their pitching staff, the Twins are also dealing with injuries to their everyday players. Their best hitter all season, Luis Ariz is listed as questionable for this game, as is Max Kepler. Also, their slugger Byron Buxton remains out with an injury until at least late September. So, they are banged up and face a pitcher in McKenzie who blanked them through seven innings just about a week ago in his last start. Looking at these teams' pitching staff since the All-Star break shows how well they have been doing as the Twins are pitching to a 4.15 team earned run average in 47 games while the Guardians are dominating with a 3.09 team earned run average in 51 games. Neither offense has done well as Minnesota is averaging 3.33 runs per game in their previous 12 games while Cleveland is scoring 3.46 runs per game in their last 13 games as well. The Twins will likely have a bullpen day, so while the Guardians should score enough to take care of business, they won't score enough to push this past the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.